ride Yamaha Marine Center in Orange Park just off of 295 Wells Road 1515 Wells Road to be exact what we have for you today it's actually becoming one of my favorite boats a uh, great little family boat can fish out of it can ski off of it and it cruises really really well I left all the canvas on we'll get all that pulled off and get inside the boat here in a second but you can see the windlass which is nice stainless steel anchor it's a 2020 pursuit dual console 235 uh, we are 24 feet 4 inches overall from the bow to the back of the uh, transom extensions which has become a new trend and pursuit was kind of on top of that innovating the industry as always um, the beam is uh, pretty standard eight feet to six inches not a huge boat by any means but very maneuverable and trailerable trailerable say that five times fast uh, weight 5,350 pounds dry with I believe the 300 on it uh, we can get a 250 on this boat as well uh, really likes the 300 uh, and it comes standard with power steering that way so I recommend it 105 gallons of fuel nine gallons of fresh water and a 13 gallon holding tank and it also has a live well in the back there uh, it's about 15 gallons nice steep entry to the boat as with all pursuits they are built to be ocean worthy they call it mission capable so it'll get you uh, out fishing and back to the dock no problem got a pretty decent flare on this one uh, but the entry on the boat is what I like so much that gives you that nice soft ride uh, some pretty aggressive lifting strikes get you up out of the water and as always a nice big reverse chine there uh, to keep the spray down and off the boat coming down the whole side you can see powder coated hard top huge hard top probably one of the best features of this boat uh, this boat my wife and kids both really like it and having a integrated fiberglass windshield uh, there's not as much hard top structure as you see on some of our competition <coughs> whaler Grady uh, so there's not a bunch of poles sticking down in front of the windshield to obstruct your view because that fiberglass windshield does become pretty much a structural member which we'll cover a little bit more when we get in there uh, transom extensions as I mentioned before stick out where I like these quite a bit is when my kids are swimming if the engines tucked all the way in uh, and they're coming up to the nice uh, Gaelic boarding ladder here that pulls out of the hole this one's a three-step uh, they're, they're nice and away from the prop which having an eight-year-old and a six-year-old you're always thinking about that kind of stuff and you see the engines kind of tucked back in there where the uh, transfer extensions kind of function almost like a bracket uh, providing a little bit of flotation when the boat's sitting there flat and actually functioning as kind of a trim tab as well and it comes completely out of the water when you're up and running so again reducing the wetted surface reduce, reducing uh, skin friction increasing fuel economy and hull efficiency integrated trim tabs uh, Yamaha factory painted 300 nice pearlescent paint uh, video probably doesn't do it justice a lot of metallic flake in there really pretty stuff and other than that we will go pull all the covers off get inside the boat for you and go through the rest of the boat the transom again on the boat with the extensions you can see how nice and wide they are um, coming into the boat from that diving ladder and then you can actually use this little walkway to get all the way across the other side fairly easily uh, another thing is you know if you do ever have to get into the engine cowling it's all accessible right here and um, another thought if you foul a prop with dock line or fishing line or something you can actually trim it up and get to the prop from the uh, transom extension so it's functional in, in several different ways um, entering the boat nice entry here some cup holders at live well back there uh, the forward facing seat on the transom uh, you got some rod holders stowed away on the sides some combing pads uh, for like i said doing some fishing and stuff actually makes a pretty comfortable little cruising package not a huge amount of cockpit space but just right for maybe four to six people and then the seat stows away a little bit of bilge access down there raw water wash down and then this is kind of a cool feature where the seat comes down to make a lounger some more cup holders in there some more rod holders you can look at that live well probably geez 20 something gallons maybe so it's pretty substantial 
Uh, taking another good look up at the hard top. Goes pretty much all the way to the gunnel side, so huge coverage, nice stainless uh, anchor light mast. Put some flags up there for you, spreader lights. But it's all fiberglass, powder coated aluminum. Very sturdy construction. Coming down to the little entertainment center, you have a freshwater sink, a uh, little insulated cooler here, and that closes completely flat in case you want to use it for food prep or something. Uh, your DC panel is right here, very easily accessible. All your breakers, main switch, windlass, uh, little tackle storage here, and also access to some systems underneath that seat. Uh, head compartment, nice, thick, molded fiberglass. A lot of boats you might see get chintzy here and start using plastic and stuff. Uh, Pursuit doesn't like to do that and everything's well built. Magnetic catch on the other side. Hold the door steady in case you're in a rough sea. And then your manual head, a little fresh water sink in there. Good storage, good room. Uh, some courtesy lighting all the way around. You see one up front there. Captain's chair, adjustable chair, full down armrest. Again, digital binnacle. You have your Garmin VHF 300. Uh, you got your new 8612 XSV, your Yamaha gauge, top of the line JL audio, uh, tilt helm, Nanko trim tabs, and all your switches there. And like I said, there's that power steering button on the bottom right. Comes standard with the 300, optional on the 250. Um, and for any water sports enthusiasts, there's people that have a lot of stuff to carry. This boat does not lack storage, especially like this in floor storage. And there's um, midship bilge, faux floor, so all your water management is under that limber hole there. It all goes down into the bilge, so all your items don't get soaking wet. Um, the walkway here is fully enclosable, so if the weather does get kind of nasty, of course the seat's going to be in my way, you can completely close the windshield, like I was saying, this molded fiberglass, it's really nice, it's not that thin aluminum stuff, uh, so it gives you a lot better visibility, because these are the only stanchions supporting the hard top down into here, so it leaves your view very nice. And then the eyes and glass takes care of the rest with that fold down piece there. So if it does get kind of nasty, you can kind of get enclosed and, and stay out of everything. And like I said, storage everywhere. Now if you add like a bow filler cushion, it stows in there. Bow table stows in there. Uh, access to your electronics through those panels. Uh, Pursuit is really, from what we've experienced an engineering company that builds boats. So everything's fairly well thought out and well designed. Makes it a little more user friendly. Just like these forward seats, uh, they open completely up out of your way. They are insulated in case you want to use them as cooler space. On a hinge, uh, dry fast foam inside all the seats. So if they do get wet, they dry out quickly. A uh, nice deep bow area too. So if you have kids or, or older parents that want to sit up here um, the freeboard on the boat is phenomenal to make you feel really nice and tucked in good look at the boat there walking from bow to stern plenty of walkway and then up into the windlass uh, you have a control at the dash uh, your integrated nav lights and pop-up cleats it's big door windlass there and we have a remote here that you can operate the windlass from the front of the boat like I said at the helm um, yeah all around a pretty great package if you have any questions on the 2020 pursuit to dual console 235 or any other pursuit regulator Key West skier or Curvel uh, feel free to call Brad or Barton at 904-644 seven six three one or on our website at yamaha marine jx.com